Let's determine f prime of x if f of x is equals to 3x squared plus 2x using first principles. That is to say that f prime of x is equals to the limit as h tends to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So what I want us to do here. Let's solve the numerator first so that our solution doesn't get messy. And then we're going to substitute it back into f prime of x. So we say that let's solve for f of x plus h minus f of x separately. And then we're just going to substitute it back into the equation. But before we do that, we can simply solve this problem using the power rule. So let's go ahead and do that. If we use the power rule, we're going to get f prime of x is equals to 6x plus 2. So when we are done solving the problem using first principles, we shall get 6x plus 2. If we don't get that, then we have done something wrong at some point of time. Anyway, let's go ahead and solve our problem. So the first part, f of x plus h. So you just write f of x, but then instead of x, you substitute x plus h. So if we do that, it will look like the following. We're going to have 3 uh, multiplied by x. So instead of x, we have x plus h squared plus 2 multiplied by x, which in this case is going to be x plus h. And then everything minus f of x, which is 3x squared plus 2x. So let's go ahead and try solving this. Uh, if we do that, we're going to have 3 multiplied by, so x plus h squared will give you x squared plus 2xh plus h squared, right? Plus Two multiplied by x, that is 2x, and then plus 2 multiplied by h, that is 2h. Everything uh, minus 3x to the power 2 plus 2x. This will be equals to, so now we just multiply it out by 3. If we do that, we're going to have 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared plus 2x plus 2h uh, minus 3x squared minus 2x. Every time that doesn't have h at this point, we expect it to fall away, right? So look at this. We have 3x squared minus 3x squared. We have 2x minus 2x. So we're going to be left with 6xh plus 3h squared plus 2h. So this is what we are left with. We can then substitute it into f prime of x, which is equal to the limit as h tends into 0. So now on the numerator, we just have 6xh plus 3h squared plus 2h, everything divided by h. What you want to do at this point is to take h as a common factor on the numerator. So we're going to have f prime of x being equal to the limit as h tends into 0 of h. And then we're taking it as a common factor, right? If we do that, we're going to be left with 6x plus 3h plus 2, everything divided by h. h and h cancels out. And let's let h now turn into 0. So we're going to have f of uh, f prime of x being equals to 6x plus 3 multiplied by 0 plus 2. So this is just 6x plus 2. And this is what we were expecting to get if everything we did is correct. And it seems like um, we are on the right path. That is the answer to 8.1. Let's move to 8.2 uh, very quick. So we want uh, dy uh, dx if y is equal to 4 multiplied by square root of x minus 8 divided by square root of x plus pi x to the power 3. This is equal to. So let's get rid of this square root and write it as a fraction so that we can easily derivate, right, using the power rule. So if we do that, we're going to have 4 multiplied by x to the power 
a half we know that square root is just to the power a half and then on the middle term let me show you how we solve that separately so we have eight divided by square root of x this is the same as 8 divided by x to the power a half but then instead of dividing by x to the power a half we can write it as 8 multiplied by x to the minus a half instead so let's do that there minus 8 multiplied by x to the power minus a half plus pi x to the power 3 so now let's go ahead and use the power rule uh, if we use the power rule 4 multiplied by a half that is 2x and then a half minus 1 that is minus a half right and then minus 8 multiplied by minus a half that will be plus 4x and then minus a half minus 1 that will be minus 3 divided by 2 plus pi multiplied by 3 that is 3 pi x to the power 3 minus 1 that is 2 so there we go we have our answer